Hey y'all, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara and we are a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. Today we have a very special Veterans Day DIY dresser makeover flip. We've teamed up with the fabulous Sab at Sab's Rehabs. The proceeds from our flip today will be donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. So come along with us to the garage and watch this special flip take shape. It is super cool. I can't wait to show you. Come on, let's go. Up. I found this really great piece on Facebook Marketplace for a really great price. I haven't had much luck finding really cool things on Facebook Marketplace lately, so I really jumped on this one even though we're in the middle of a another flip right now, getting that ready for YouTube. We're in the middle of flipping my daughter's tall boy dresser. That'll already be completed and up on YouTube by the time you all see this video. But we literally stopped what we were doing, jumped in the car, and this lady lives about four miles from us and she said she's gonna leave it on the driveway for me. So it looked really cool in the pictures. I'm hoping that it's a hit when we see it. So we'll see. Oh yes, it is everything I hoped it would be and more. It is a 1969 Thomasville tall boy dresser. It has six drawers. It doesn't have handles. It opens with these little slots right here, which is pretty cool. I've never seen anything like this, but uh, I've got a really cool design in mind for this guy. I cannot wait to get it home and get started on it. First things first, I need to get everything nice and clean. I like to use simple green on my projects, mix it up according to the bottle directions, and rinse it off with some warm, clean water. I'm going to go ahead and number all five of these drawers so that when I put it back together, it makes things a lot easier. The sides of these dressers it had this little metal detail that easily came off it was just screwed into there so I'm going to take that off it's not going to go with the new design I have in mind Now that that's off, I need to go ahead and fill the holes with some wood fill from where the screws came out. We always like our pieces to have a bit of a twist and this one is no exception. There is a part of this box here that I wanna go ahead and take down to bare wood so that I could do some stain and some paint on this dresser. You're going to have to stay tuned to see how this turned out, but this is the first part of the process of getting the piece to look how I envision it.
The top has a little bit of, I don't want to say it's water damage per se, but it's just some marks from hot mugs or something being left on top of it. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's uneven or anything. It just needs a really good scuff sand to make sure that everything looks nice and flat when I go ahead and paint this. I love my surf prep sander and this squishy foam pad abrasive is going to come in handy for all of these details on the drawers. Uh, they don't need any fixing, they're in really great shape, but everything is going to have to get a really good scuff sand so that the chalk paint will adhere. going to paint this dresser first so I need to meticulously go ahead and use some painters tape on the parts of the dresser that I intend to stain later. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that we love to use Krylon Chalky Finish Chalk Paint from Sherwin-Williams. I am using the color Caviar, which is their deepest black on the line. It is a nice, very rich, deep blue black. It's going to be perfect for this dresser. Got it loaded into my Gravity Fed HVLP spray gun and off we go. Between coats, I take a 300 grit sandpaper pad and just knock down any uneven finish. I will say that I did not tape this, but I didn't like the look of this top and the way the watermarks were showing up, so I did prime the top of it. I did not prime the rest, but I primed the top of it just so there wasn't any issues in the future with this, and then went ahead with a second coat. All in all, this took a total of three coats of black caviar chalk paint.
A big thank you to my buddy Emily over at Reconstructing Emily. She has found some items on our Amazon wish list that are linked in the video description below and sent them to us. It was fun to get that in the mail. A few of our regulars have found that Amazon wish list, so a big thank you to you guys. I promise I'll work your gifts into my upcoming videos as well. Our Amazon wish list is just a fun way to contribute to the channel and of course get a fun little mention. We really appreciate you guys. I'm using Minwax Special Walnut Wood Stain on this wood. All the products I use will be linked in the video. Now for poly coat, we like to use Helmsman Spar Urethane in a clear satin finish. Loads into our gravity fed HVLP sprayer and each of our dressers usually get about two to three coats of poly. guys before the big reveal I'm listing this dresser for sale next weekend and I will keep you posted on the proceeds that we get to donate for this dresser our profit from this piece is going to be donated to the wounded warrior project in support of all the veterans who have bravely served our country we cannot say thank you enough I have linked the Wounded Warrior Project in the comments below if you would like more information about their charity or if you would like to donate yourself. We are so grateful for the chance to give back to those who have sacrificed so much for us. Be sure to hop over to Sab's channel at Sab's Rehabs. I have also linked her information in the collab video below as well as in the comments. We have some fun changes getting ready to take place on our channel as we prepare to visit the Dave Ramsey Show in the next few weeks to talk about our debt-free journey and how flipping furniture became the side hustle that catapulted us out of debt in the midst of my husband's job loss due to COVID. You're not gonna wanna miss that story. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a flip. Are you ready to see this DIY dresser take shape? Here we go.